Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas and in this video I'm going to tidy up and organize my dining room, give it a really good reset, get rid of all the clutter and uh, just get it back to the way that I like it. Sweet, simple, clear surfaces. I'm going to chat with you about things that have been going on in October and just spend uh, about 30 minutes together catching up. I hope you are well. Let's get started. So right off the bat, there's like 10 different actions that need to happen in order to declutter this space. Things that need to be put away, decisions that need to be made, microscopic little decisions that need to be made. For instance, we don't really need this at co-op right now, but we might. This just gets put in completed work. That one's kind of easy. This is still like a decision for months on end on where to keep it. I don't want it here. I really just need to make that decision. These are things we're learning right now for math. We've never actually used these, even though I bought them. <laughs> I had this vision that we would be, you know, hiking along, but maybe I would put this in the scouts bin and my son can take it to scouts and share with his friends. This needs to be taken apart and the pieces need to be put away. This is the make-a-do you use with cardboard. All the little Legos that need to go in a Lego bin. This is a little shelf I got from a thrift store. I just got to decide where I want that to be. <clears throat> just more things. Everything has to be put away. This is a project. She needs um, the button repaired. So I need to do that. This is a game that needs to find a home on the game shelf. It's all just little tiny decisions and clutter is magnetic. And so when I go to do a project like this, I feel frustration immediately because there's just so much to do. Would you be able to use this at your at work? Work. Not really. I don't want it anymore. It's been organizing their craft paper, but I found a better solution, and I want to get it off of this. Very nice purse today, well, Becca. Well, let me take a picture and see if anybody at work wants it. Okay, so that was yesterday, and I had about a minute and forty-five seconds to film before the kids needed something. Becca was hungry, Jack and Brennan were fighting on the couch. And so I just stopped filming and stopped working on that project and had a bunch of stuff to do for the kids during the day. I did not, I don't think post a single video in October, I think. <laughs> I was doing good for the end of September, posting pretty regularly. And then things just got crazy busy here. And I wanted to just take a minute because so many people have been messaging me and I just want to say thank you so much for thinking of me. And I take these unintentional breaks now <laughs> where the kids are just busy and I'm just sad. And um, I I'm trying very hard to make space in my life for healing with grief after losing my brother and then my mom almost a year apart. And this summer was about that. Now I'm into fall and I feel like I'm still doing that and my dad is still doing that and we're not really in a space where things are okay yet i guess is okay to say um but i'm i'm okay i you know i'm a happy person i'm just sad right now and i'll be sad for a while and honestly the kids are so busy right now that i haven't had a lot of space for self and balancing a sense of self with the responsibilities of motherhood and then also leaving a lot of space for grieving the loss of my family and so uh, that's where I'm at <laughs> I was trying to organize the top of the cedar chest in the dining room that was just that's been a goal what like this whole year so anyway I decided to re 
organize that paper. I put it in a container I already had on a shelf that it was just an empty container on a shelf. So I put the paper in there. It's going to work fine because I, it's all organized in there. It shouldn't get too messy. It should work okay. And then I'm just going to get rid of that blue sorter thing. That system worked. It was fine, but the container that I was using for it was just too much and it was magnetic. It, in, in that it could attract, it attracted other clutter onto the cedar chest. So uh, Andy's gonna take it to work and give it to somebody in his office. And now it's out of my house and out of my life. Paper is still organized in a way that works for the kids. Uh, it's not a tried and true system at this, at this point because I've only just made that change. So I gotta let it live for a little while. Um, and I guess that's another part of this video will be, will be systems. Hang on, let me drink coffee. Because in October, I really focused on a lot of systems in our house that were either working or not working. And one of those things for me was laundry working solidly for months. I wrote down all the different kinds of laundry that we have. I made myself a checklist. I laminated it and then I Velcroed it to my washing machine so that it's all right there. And every day the decision is there for me. I, I made the decision once. I made a checklist. I laminated it. I tested it. I changed it. I reprinted it, relaminated it. It's a system that works for us and it has so many great things. I don't have to decide any, uh, there's no more decision making. This is what I'm doing on this day. If there's some extra laundry on the floor, just, you know, blankets, whatever, dog beds, that also gets done just because it's on the floor as a reminder. Otherwise my system, my daily system of laundry every day is working for me and I love it. It also works really great because my husband can jump in, look at the checklist, see the day or the previous day, what's not been checked yet grab those things and wash them. He can jump into the laundry process without any conversation or decision making from me, which is, which is great. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that works for me, um, I decided to roll that system into my cleaning process. So I took the decision making out of it once and for all. I made myself another checklist and laminated it and put something for each day. And I made them simple tasks for myself. So now each day I'm like, okay, what am I doing? Oh, today I'm resetting the dining room. So what's that mean? I'm just gonna go in, clear all the clutter that doesn't belong. I'm gonna wipe everything down. I'm gonna scrub the floors, whatever it is that needs doing in that room, I'm resetting that room. And it's kind of like zone cleaning, except I didn't give myself a specific list of things to do for cleaning. I just clean what I feel like cleaning and or what needs cleaning the most in that room. But I took the decision making out of it for me. Maybe that's something you can relate to that it's just like, I don't know where to start. I gave myself a jumping off point and kept it really simple for myself. And so now I'm actually cleaning every day, 30 minutes. I feel really good about it. The house is cleaner. I have better energy. I feel better. And it's it's rolling into other things um, because I'm maintaining my home again and trying to, you know, just get up and do stuff. <laughs> um Those are times from my friend Tara um, after my mom died and the memorial chimes. And so now we say every time they chime, my mom is saying hi. <laughs> so hi mom. But I've been leaning on that really hard as a way to just say, okay, now I have some time to clean. What can I clean? I just look at my checklist and I pick something and I do it. And taking the decision making out of it has helped me. Um, okay. That said, yesterday's task was the dining room. <laughs> I didn't finish it uh, because my margin to film, the margin of time to film in October was just non-existent. Uh, like my daughter has a very busy gymnastics schedule. She's on team and my son has a busy karate schedule. And then we had field trips and mom, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> She's like, get off your butt and go clean your dining room, Erica. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish the dining room with you. Thank you for always being here with me. You know, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna cry, it's just cause that's my life. Um, the kindness of strangers 
is so uplifting and you guys know me <laughs> and many of you are messaging a YouTuber for the first time when you're reaching out and asking if I'm okay and the kindness of other people in this world is just so powerful and I just want to say thank you for being here and being my friend and for tagging along on this journey with me that said I can I'm reminding I'm reminding myself right now to also tell you in October we were mad sick I had um bacterial pneumonia and viral pneumonia my voice is still kind of yucky I lost my voice for almost two weeks the kids had the initial cold that caused that for me uh, my son had pneumonia uh, my littlest one still is fighting a little bit of the cold. Uh, Andy had bronchitis from it. It was just a cold that ripped through our family. Uh, Becca had it first in the beginning of October and just shared it with the rest of us. So that was another part of October was just being sick and not having a voice. And it's hard to film a YouTube video without a voice. So, um, okay, back to work, Erica. Anyway, I love you and I appreciate you. And I'm really just so grateful for you. Okay, now that I'm walking in here, it's November, so I need to switch over all my Halloween decorations. I just saw that giant spider web up there. I, uh, I need to switch over my Halloween decorations for my Thanksgiving decorations. And I was also thinking that I sort of wanted to reorganize what I do have into monthly bins. Um, I had one bin called Fall with stuff that had Halloween and Thanksgiving. And I wanted to separate it into October and November decor so I could just sort of get out the one bin. Uh, I was thinking I would I would maybe do that today too. Uh, maybe I'll do that with you. And I like just a couple of touches of decoration for the month or the season that just make it feel a little more cozy in her house. And I really enjoy seasonal decor. So I have learned that even though I've let go of hundreds of things that were seasonal decor for us, I still really enjoy the process of taking care of my home and loving my home and decorating it with seasonal decor. So I, it's just a balance of what I want for the season. This year we did more of like um, skeletons and bones as our theme for our Halloween porch this year for trick-or-treating. So I'm going to package that up into an October bin, I think, today too. Okay, so I've cleared everything off and I've put it onto the table to take action with it. I also wanna change out my Halloween table cover. Our table has been, uh, the surface needs to be re redone. So it's kind of like either sticky or um, dirty. Like it just keeps coming up. I can't, I can't keep it clean. I can't get it clean. I've tried mineral, mineral oil. I've tried all different kinds of things. So um, my husband needs to sand it and refinish it for us. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I want this to be completely cleared off or if I want to put like somebody's art or a book or something right here. I, I think I'm gonna leave it clear. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna just take this and put it, that's fine there in the schoolroom. Um, and then if I wanna display something later, I can do that. But for now, I think I wanna keep it clear. Part of my motivation here is also that um, we're hosting Thanksgiving with our parents coming, all the grandparents. And so, and possibly um, uh, friends as well who will be coming with their kids. So I wanna keep that clear for use during that time. I do need to do some Thanksgiving prep. So maybe I'll make a video of that. I gotta figure out what serving where I have. I know I need serving spoons um, and napkins, table covers. I got all the stuff. I just gotta you know, get it out, make sure it's clean and stuff. I'm getting stuck installed and I need to, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna push myself. I'm getting stuck on the decision-making side of where things should go, the homes that they should be in. Um, and I, so I'm just going to make fast decisions and put things in a home, in a place, because it's stalling me. And what I want to do is completely get this room, this dining room reset. That's my, that was my goal yesterday. It's carried over in today and I'm gonna finish it. I'm going to do it. 
I'm either gonna trash it because I'm, I need to purge things. I just have, it just makes me feel better <laughs> to declutter and purge stuff, especially when it's been sitting around for months and nobody's touched it. Obviously we don't use it, need it, love it, or want it really, honestly. Okay, now that I just said that, let's do it. It always helps me to verbalize and talk through these things with you because then it helps me make my decisions faster and easier and helps me make decisions. I feel like that's always been a really big hurdle for me in living with less and simplifying is the decision-making side of it. Two of my kids started occupational therapy for ADHD and for sensory processing and a couple other acronyms. And uh, this is my daughter's big life journal. My son has one also. They have been really leaning hard into using this as part of their bedtime routine. I love that for them. I also made them a promise, as did my husband, that uh, we would not read it without their permission, ever. So I'm just gonna give that back to her to put in her room. She must have done that downstairs last night. This picture was in the dining room. I'm gonna put it upstairs. My mom was in the middle of actually painting this picture for us when she died. And so I'm just gonna put that with the painting because we have the painting upstairs. Okay, so just things that belong elsewhere. This is a project that needs to be mended. I'm gonna put this in her backpack for co-op. This needs to go in her room. The boys need to put away their Legos and this toy. These are broken glasses that just need to be repaired. Uh, the game is easy, right? Game's easy. Well, it has a home. Yeah, fine enough, good enough. Um, microscopic slides can go with the microscope. Okay, so I, I just took this from the schoolroom. That's a different day. Um, it's not the right bin for this. These, this is just completed work that they've been doing the last month or two for school. It's not the right bin, but I'm using what I have. So that's because the mission is to get this like out of the dining room. We had the roof replaced in October also. And so we had to clear out the hallway and this has just been sitting in here for two weeks because I decided I didn't want it back in the hallway, but I don't know where I want it. I actually, I'm just gonna throw this here for now. That'll be tomorrow's problem. But this bench, I think I'm gonna put onto the porch here. I decided this year I'm going to enjoy Christmas any way that I want to, uh, to be able to make it through the first one here. Uh, my dad will be here and so what i want to do is uh, have a tree on the front porch and i've decided the porch's theme is going to be the elf movie because it is my favorite movie and um so i got some elf movie decorations couple of things like you know, santa sleigh like santa's coming i know him that moment in the movie is what i want to capture on the porch so i'm going to have a tree i'm going to have a little sled and some i bought uh, a deck of cards that has the Will Ferrell in his elf costume all in there. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so the black bench will go on the porch with my, anyway. So yeah, I bought a tree from Target for 50 bucks and it's going on the porch. The kids asked to have Christmas trees in their bedrooms this year, that's a first. And we used to have a kid's tree when they were toddlers. And the fiberglass in the attic of two houses ago, one house ago, whatever. Um, ruined that tree. And so I bought kids trees for the bedrooms this year too, also from Target for like 45 bucks. So that was extra. I'm buying things for Christmas in October and I'm not gonna feel bad about it because it is part of my grief process and it's making me feel great because I love Christmas and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to make sure the kids enjoy it and I'm, we're gonna have four Christmas trees this year and the end. I've been thrifting for ornaments and things like that. So I'm trying not to like go, go, you know, over budget with Christmas decorations that I know in probably a year or two, I'll feel comfortable decluttering or maybe I won't because I love Christmas. I'm not a minimalist with Christmas decorations. Better than previous years because I've donated so much but uh, I'm kind of swinging back around a little bit on Christmas and don't feel bad about it. Let's keep doing this because that is not today's thing. Anyway, um, okay, I'm almost done. I'm gonna power through, let's do it. I got the two things, please. Legos in a toy bin. And then can you use the tool to remove these two and put this in the bin that they go in and put this guy in the trash? 
So two separate actions, okay? Yes? Thank you. Trash. So I got rid of the blue thing, the blue sorter, and then I had a pile of trash. So it's a little bit of a declutter. This is from the thrift store, but I just realized that I broke it. So I need some wood glue to fix that. So I got this to go on top of this one. This is a nicer one. This green one is from Amazon um, and it's got just, it's a nice linen, I think it's linen, uh, tablecloth. And I liked the color green for fall. And it was big enough to cover my table. And then I got this from the thrift store for eight or for three dollars. It was in a package new, like this one. So I got like a pumpkin Halloween one, and then I got a Thanksgiving one. Uh, this one was three, and this one was four. So, but it's like new in package. So I thought, you know, I'm alright with that. And I put it here to protect this one. And also because the kids like color with these markers that bleed. And I wanted something cheap that would protect the tablecloth. Because for a while it was just protecting the table. It still needs refinishing. So, um, I think I'll just throw this out rather than save it for next year. It doesn't feel like a thing I need to package up with Halloween decor because it was three bucks. It's, I mean, it's, I hate throwing stuff out. So anyway, it's November. So I'm going to switch over to my Thanksgiving style decorations and uh, package up and get rid of any of the Halloween ones. There's the doggies. Doggy one, doggy two. Camera one. Number two. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I will let go till you say so. There isn't anything I want to do. Wanna make sure that you understand. You're the one who gives my life color. There is no other. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place, but my default is how can I repurpose this? have a perfect place to use this co-op. Um, at our homeschool co-op each week, we have three picnic tables in each uh, age group's area. And for each age group, we have three groups. We have 107 children in our homeschool co-op. We need table covers for when they do their art projects. And um, so this is perfect for co-op. I'm going to put this by the front door so I can put it in my co-op bag, which is in my car. it's coming out. I cleared off the whole top of that. I need to dust it. That's our art supplies. We do a lot of art projects. So, and that's another reason I just wanted like a cheap plastic table cover is that we do a lot of art projects here. So I like it. I like how this turned out. That's cleared off. I like that. Um, that vibe I don't like. This is our charging cart. I, this is a system that works well for us. Devices that are to be charged up here, the cords, and then headphones. This works great. I do not like it in the dining room anymore. We're moving it now. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we put this here. Do you want to help me get this black bench onto the porch?
so Andy can take that to work tomorrow. Um, all right, so we've got rocking chairs. I'm thinking I'm going to end up putting the tree sort of like right here and maybe changing where the rocking chairs are. Um, I think I'm going to change this whole thing and tuck the black bench right there. Okay, but this feels like... Oops. Okay, for now it's going here because I don't want to start a second project before I finish my first project. Okay. This will go here. Let's plug it in. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to drop that in your head. I need to run the vacuum and mop in here. Okay. So cleared out that space completely. Oh, there's a little Halloween bouncy ball. Okay. Cleared that off. That was my biggest goal. Games. The table. Cleared that top shelf off. Art supplies. We're, do we're, we're doing good. This is fine. I just need to sweep and run the vacuum and, and mop in here and we're good. The teacher, off of Teachers Pay Teachers, somebody had these free monthly labels. They're really meant for like school stuff, but I just wanted the monthly label. <laughs> um, so what I want to do is box up October. I don't have decor for every single month, but that's okay. Okay. And I've started gathering some of the things here. I think it's gonna end up in a bigger bin than this one. Okay, I've gathered all the Halloween things here. Just little touches throughout my entire house or you know, on the front porch. And so, some miscellaneous little mats that were various places, some Halloween books we read, my mug I use in October. I just love this thing so much. Um, we had some uh, solar lights out front, purple solar lights, and there is a purple light in here. Well, so it looks like maybe somebody turned it off, yeah. So when you close the door at night, it's got like a purpley glow, and then my solar lights were also purple down the driveway, so. It looks nice. Uh, I gotta take the batteries out of stuff before I stash everything. Okay, we'll... Probably, I don't know if that's coming up. Little lights that glowed. On the thing. Okay. Anyway. okay. There's nothing I feel like decluttering. Nothing is jumping out at me as something I want to get rid of. So I'm, I'm just gonna take the batteries out and see if I can fit everything into this bin and label it as October to put into the basement. I mean, obviously these are just cheap things I can replace next year, but why? If I can fit them in here anyway, I might as well just save them and use them. I think this is our third year using these. They lit up when I put them in the bin, and obviously when I put the lid on, they're still gonna be like that. That struck me as maybe a fire hazard if, with the lid on, so I'm just gonna see if these have off buttons. And they do, so I just have to turn each of these off as I put them away. Okay, so Halloween decorations tucked in nice. The only thing I can't find is my candy bowl. Um, it's just like a plastic, used to be Dollar Tree candy bowl. So if it, if it surfaces, great. If not, whatever. I'll just use what I got next year. And then I labeled October, obviously. Thank you. And then these didn't fit. These came with the glow-in-the-dark balls that I gave out for Halloween this year. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, <laughs> see if anybody in my neighborhood wants we have a facebook neighborhood group of people who are just like do you want that it's free you want it i'll see that or i'll put them on the homeschool co-op table this is like the light is so trippy that i don't like it so i'm actually just gonna i'm gonna throw this out uh i took the batteries out of everything and i'm going to use them in probably like 
you know, next month for Christmas decorations that need batteries. My Thanksgiving or November seasonal decor consists of the wreath that's on the front door. I just put that black gauze over it for Halloween. And then um, some Thanksgiving kids books that we have. This is one of my favorite balloons over Broadway. It's about the history of the Macy's Day Parade. A really wonderful book. And then I have on my sink already here, my sink window, three little gnomes. All right, I'm onto the laundry and cleaning task of my day. I'm gonna get a shower, so I wanna say thank you. And I really enjoyed spending time with you today. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope to get back to a regular filming schedule. So I really appreciate you always being here with me. Take care, I hope you're well.